Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. For I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who liveth in me. And the life that I live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. That speaks volumes to me, firmly, or well, mainly because that it, it shows that with the help of the Holy Spirit, the living Spirit of God, that I can live according to Christ. I can live according to the life of Christ, according to his holy life. I can live holy. I can live righteously. I can be godly. I can be truthful as the Lord is. It is not I, but the Lord in me that lives. Because greater is the Lord who is in me than he that is of the world. All I have to do is sincerely and tenaciously surrender to God himself, to surrender to Christ alone, and knowing that he'll handle the rest, to realize also, to, to, look, at, to look at myself in the mirror <clears throat> and earnestly acknowledge that there's nothing good in, good in me except the Holy Spirit himself. The Holy, him, the Holy Spirit himself is what is only good in me. Not me, but the Holy Spirit himself. God the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of the living God himself. He is the only good thing in me. And I forever praise the good name of the Lord Jesus, thanking him for every day, acknowledging to him earnestly that there is nothing good in me except his Holy Spirit, that I was a born sinner molded in iniquity, and that without Christ, I am absolutely nothing. But with Christ, I have everything that I should have nothing to worry about. Day after day, I cry out to the Lord, begging for his cleansing, his tenacious cleansing through the Holy Spirit. I beg of the Lord for his tenacious cleansing of my soul and spirit and mind and heart. I always, always pray and beg the good Lord for his tenacious cleansing of my soul, my spirit, my mind, and my heart. Because I'm in desperate need. I'm in desperate need of cleansing. I only want to be like Christ himself, alone and forevermore. Therefore, I, with the help of the Holy Spirit, I'm always reminded how to behave towards myself and towards others. To remind myself that it is not I, but the Lord who liveth in me that speaks to them. It's like, because my sole priority is to emulate the light of Jesus Christ towards the world truthfully, faithfully, impartially, unconditionally, tenaciously, eternally, reverently, resoundingly, unapologetically, resolutely, humbly, meekly, earnestly, sincerely, genuinely, on and on. I solely live for the purpose of Lord Jesus. I solely acknowledge, I earnestly acknowledge that he is the only way to all things that is good and holy. And I forever praise his holy name. So my message to those who are listening, always remember what the word says, pray without ceasing, pray without ceasing, pray without ceasing. We must pray continually every day. Prayer is a livelihood. It is a way of life. It is the only way we can communicate and give thanks to the Father in heaven. It is the only way. So, by that being said, let us truthfully, faithfully, and earnestly, and tenaciously, unconditionally, and eternally surrender our all unto the Lord. Let us become completely vulnerable in the Lord alone. Because it's only through our brokenness and our vulnerability can the Lord strengthen us with his Holy Spirit and to live according to his ways. I am truly, genuinely, and earnestly grateful of the Lord beyond measure. And I love him the more. So that's my motivation of the day today.